Hello and welcome to Not So Awesome Reviews. Here we're looking at the Marvel Legends cable from the Deadpool series. He does come with the right leg of the Windigo build a figure piece. And yeah, don't normally do Marvel Legends. I've tried it in the past, didn't do so great. So we'll see how it goes and maybe I'll do more of these. I, I don't know. Getting them on time, like when they come out, is a little bit difficult. And I'm not gonna pay crazy prices to have them imported from around the world and you know, so I can I can get you guys the review right away. No, I'm I'm gonna pay regular price for these if I'm gonna get them because well it's a twenty dollar figure and for the most part these are usually worth that twenty dollar price tag, some sometimes a little bit less. But that's besides the point. Anyways, he does come with three weapons here, as you can see, comes with this little smaller gun that this one can be holstered onto his side and uh yeah, it's cool. I do like them. I do wish they all had a little bit of silver dry brushing, but I gotta say, they look pretty nice. They have a really good amount of detail on them and can't really complain. Like I said, this one, let me focus in on this, can be holstered. Move his arm back. Just push it in right there, that little rubber piece, and uh, it fits in nice and snug. won't go anywhere. And that's cool because a lot of times they get molded on guns, on holsters, and that, that just honestly sucks. But anyways does come with this slightly bigger one, which again, the detail on it is really nice. No complaints on that. Uh, only complaint with this one is he doesn't have a holster for this one. So if you want him to be carrying all three weapons, he's going to have to be holding this one in his hand. Otherwise, uh, there's nowhere for it to really go, which kind of sucks. And aside from that, he does come with this bigger one. You can see right here. It has like the illusion of it being scratched on the sides and stuff. Almost like this whole port right here reminds me of those ones that you would push a button and fire like a bright orange dart out or something. This is solid plastic, so it doesn't look as good to me anyway as the other two weapons. But it is nice, it is shiny, and it can port, again, focus in on this, into his back right there. And it'll stay on, no problem. And uh, yeah, so, figure-wise, what do I got to say about this guy? He... He looks good, I will say that. Let's start off with the way the figure looks because aesthetically, very nice. I think the vest piece looks really good. They did, you know, paint every pouch basically a different color is brown. We got some black uh, dry brushing on them to help it pop. We got all the bullets painted, you know, on the little neck piece. We got the X uh, painted red and these lines painted red. The little shimmery eye thing. It doesn't come out, but it's in there, it's translucent. It's a little soft, makes me a little worried that, you know, it could fall off, and I bet you it will fall off for somebody somewhere, because, well, that's the thing. He does have this piece right here that looks good. Could have used a little bit more paint, because it's the most plasticky looking piece on him, aside from his pants, which, they look good, but they're really shiny pants, uh, now that I'm looking at it under all these lights anyway. They do have the pouches, which look nice, they're painted. The knee pads aren't painted, which would be my only real complaint on this guy. The boots look good, the arms look good, the glove pieces rotate right here, the actual glove part. So if you want to take them off, you actually can pop the hands off and pop those off if you really wanted to. And uh, the hair and the head sculpt look really well. Uh, they, everything else looks really well done. They even did, you know, the dry brushing back here on these pouches. So the level of detail on it is good. I like it. I think the paint apps came out really good. Uh, when it comes to reused pieces, from what I can tell, the only reused pieces are the upper legs and the lower boots were reused on the other cable we got a few years ago. Can't really tell about the crotch piece. I want to say no. I want to say this one's a little bit shorter and these mid leg pieces are obviously different. Uh, on the other one, he has armor and he doesn't have these uh, boot pieces. They're painted on the other one, the knee pads which I wish they had done here again. But aside from that, arms are different, chest is different, head sculpt obviously different, and uh, overall, not a bad looking figure. Now, when it comes to articulation, it could be a little bit better. Now, the vest piece does come off if you wanted to, but it does not hinder the articulation at all. It has a little port here. You can pop it off right there. He does have those two ports in the back in case you're wondering. Uh, which is interesting. I don't remember seeing many figures that have two ports. Uh, just a little bit odd. But yeah, the neck piece can't come off if you pop the head off. And like I said, the vest doesn't hinder articulation. But 
I am going to take it off so I can show you guys one thing which is hindering the articulation just a little bit. Because the arms already aren't that good. I'm going to put that out there. The joints on him are pretty tight, but the arms aren't that good. Just in general, like even if I... Like, it goes out one, and that's it. So it's already not great. But what the problem here is, is this piece of plastic little that comes out right here a little bit triangly um it gets in the way when you want to move the arm up so there's one and you can make it you can force it there but you're going to want to rotate the arm and then move it where you want to otherwise that piece of plastic as you can see especially on this arm it, it's kind of digging into it so yeah to get the arms to a better i guess rotation i don't, I don't know to a better position so that you can have them up which again isn't that great you can see this arm does come up a little bit more this arm not as much which kind of sucks yeah and they're really tight so yeah be careful when doing it you don't want to kind of push in the plastic and ruin one of these joints here though if you had the vest on you can't really tell now like i said the articulation isn't affected by this but when you do his ab crunch forward and back it does look really awkward so I want to give you guys a heads up on that. But before we get into that, as you guys saw, you know, that's how far his arm goes uh, without, you know, rotating it and stuff. You can rotate his arm all the way around. It does have that upper arm swivel. If I can move that. Upper arm swivel. Double jointed elbows. Like I said, the cuff piece right here for the gloves. It, it can rotate. On this one's a little bit harder. This one you can see it floating around more. So there is that. You can hinge the hand, rotate it, one open hand, one uh, pistol grip hand. So I, I wish we had gone like a, a fist or two, at least one fist to exchange with this one or another open hand to exchange with it. I, I wouldn't have minded that just for variety, but it's fine. You know, he is known for wielding his weapons, so I can't really fault him for that. He does have a crunch that goes back a very good amount. And can crunch forward a very good amount. And like I said, the vest doesn't hinder it. But since it, it is a rubbery piece, it's not going to form to his body. And it's going to look really awkward. His head can move back about that much, which is really good. Though it looks awkward with this piece. Which, again, you can take off if you really wanted to. Can move down a little bit. Maybe a little bit more without it. Can't really tell. But can pivot side to side. Can look left and right. And uh, yeah, overall, good head, good head rotation work. Everything looks good. Don't have a problem with that. Uh, legs again, they're good, but they're not they're not perfect. I, my my only complaint really is they they don't go out that well. That's as far as they go. Aside from that, he can kick straight, and you can rotate that and kick straight really well. Can kick back a little bit, and uh, he does have double jointed knees, which are just about ninety. But you know that's because of the way his pants are sculpted. Does have an upper thigh rotation, which is good, and a lower boot rotation. Can't move the leg forward, or the foot forward, I should say, but he can move it back a nice amount, and he does have an ankle pivot. And, uh, yeah, overall, articulation, it's it's good, but the arms are really what kind of bother me with it. I wish they could go up just a little bit more, do a little bit more, because, you know, going up that far is nothing, to be honest. But, again, he's going to be holding his weapons most of the time, so I, in a way, I can see why they decided... It doesn't matter as much, but again, I, I do wish they had at least, you know, shaved down the upper arm pieces just so it could have been easier to rotate them up a little bit more without having to kind of like hit the plastic on that. And like I said, you can rotate him back, but it'll look awkward and you can rotate him forward and it'll look awkward with the vest on. So, uh, yeah, overall, pretty decent figure. Uh, you know, I, I do wish there was another place to port the uh, the other gun. This one. So he doesn't have to be forced holding it. You know, that way if I want him to have the giant gun and I want to put the uh, the small one away, I could just do that instead of him always kind of having to carry this one or just not have it on him at all. So that that's more or less my only major complaint with the uh, accessories. Other than that, I think he is a pretty good figure. You know, again, the arms could be better, but not bad at all. Stands up pretty good. Nice tight joints. And uh, yeah, let's just get on to some size comparisons.
So here's the new cable standing next to our old cable and you can see they're both more or less the same size about seven and a quarter inches tall and you know th this cable was already a massive figure to begin with and you know having this one alongside it it, it it looks natural it looks you know like oh that's the size we're supposed to be but if you add in something like well not so much an sh figure arts but you know i have him on hand right there you can see he is a good size taller than that but that's not surprising when you add in iron man iron man is tiny i mean let's move this guy aside compared to cable he is he is small and you know he's a pretty good size iron man too so yeah, it just shows that this figure is a pretty good size, bigger than most Marvel Legends. Here he is standing next to Cyclops, and you can see he is a good size taller than the Cyclops figure that we got. Again, was that a year ago or was that two years ago? I, I don't even remember. And yeah, I did make some soft good stuff for him. I was going to do a video on this one too, maybe later. I don't know. The It needs work. I made his pants maybe a little bit too long. These pieces are a little hard to do. The sleeve should be a little bit longer. But overall, I, I do like how... He looks but the belt piece i mean it already had issues you know when you got that figure and and with the soft goods and everything on it it does not help uh it does not help it keep inside so i want to find an alternate way to make these pieces i don't know if i'm going to but that that's kind of a side thing i'm just showing you guys there's the size comparison they look good together and anyways let's move on so overall he's not a bad figure i mean you know detail wise i think they definitely did a great job with him and I, I almost feel like they did that because they knew his articulation wasn't going to be great. His legs not being able to open up as wide as a uh, normal Marvel Legends kind of sucks, especially compared to the other, uh, the other cable, which actually can open them a pretty good amount. It's disappointing because getting him into certain poses is a little bit difficult. The arms being limited where they are, again, adds to the whole difficultness to get him to a nice, cool-looking pose. And that sucks. So, you know, you're, you're taking... You're getting stuff with the paint and everything looking good. And then you're losing stuff with the articulation. And see, so he did fall over. The gun does make him a little bit back-heavy. But, again, his joints, I believe, are tight enough that that won't really happen to you guys too much. But, again... I just wish he had a little bit more movement. Uh, what I say is a must get. I It's really up to you. I mean, if you already have the old cable and don't care so much about this one or the Build-A-Figure, then you could pass. But I'm sure, I'm almost positive that for most people, this is the cable they grew up on. At least for the older people, this is the cable that they grew up on. This is the one they think of when they think of the character. And I would say he is an awesome looking figure nonetheless, regardless of his articulation. So... You know, pick them up at your own discretion. Just know that the articulation isn't the greatest, but sculpt-wise and detail-wise is definitely up there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, comment down below. Hit the like button. I might do more Marvel Legend reviews. We'll see how it goes. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Goodbye.